Havanese dogs are known for its rugged impression, especially when not clipped or primped in any way. It is a little dog with strong legs, allowing it to freely and easily move. Today, we will tell you about the Top 10 Fact Havanese Dog Breed 101. Number 10. We can't say it enough, this breed is full of personality. Every breed has its quirk, but the one that the Havanese is most known for is its amazing personality. Its springy walk is a characteristic of the breed, although that gait is due to having shorter front legs and powerful back legs driving them along, it's also a visual of its fun and playful personality. This breed is the life of the party. It loves to be with its people, and it loves to be the center of attention. As long as the family is all together, the Havanese is happy. The Havanese is a gentle and affectionate breed that thrives on human companionship. Your Havanese will often follow you from room to room throughout the day, and he can get very anxious when left alone. He's intelligent as well, and will enjoy making you laugh with goofy antics or simply sitting on your lap watching the world go by. Temperament is affected by a number of factors including heredity, training, and socialization. Puppies with nice temperaments are curious and playful, willing to approach people and be held by them. Choose the middle-of-the-road puppy, not the one who's beating up his litter mates or the one who's hiding in the corner. Always meet at least one of the parents. Usually the mother is the one who's available. To ensure that they have nice temperaments that you're comfortable with, meeting siblings or other relatives of the parents is also helpful for evaluating what a puppy will be like when he grows up. Number 9. Was the beloved character Tiny Tim? Named after Charles Dickens's Havanese? Charles Dickens is just one of several famous people who have loved and owned this breed. Dickens had a Havanese named Tim. Considering the smaller stature of the dog, we couldn't help but wonder if the iconic character of Tiny Tim from Dickinson's classic A Christmas Carol was named after the author's dog. Or maybe the dog was named after the character. No matter which came first, it's fun to think that a famous author like Dickens loved his dog as much as the rest of us loves ours. Number 8. It's got an impressively long life. While it's true that little dogs tend to have a longer lifespan than larger dogs do, the Havanese has a long life even for little dogs. Their life expectancy is 14 to 16 years. They have a maximum height of 11.5 inches and a maximum weight of 13 pounds. They are a pretty popular breed, coming in at number 24 out of 193 breeds in the AKC. The price of a Havanese puppy reflects its popularity. The average between $1,800 to $2,500 per puppy on the AKC's Puppy Finder site. Number 7. They are the only dog breed native to Cuba. Havanese count the Bashan Frees and the Maltese as ancestors in their lineage. The breed was said to be brought to Cuba by Spaniards, and Cubans spent years molding the breed, mixing it with poodles to create the dog that we know today, thus making it the only breed that is native to Cuba. Havanese were called the Havana Silk Dog and became the lap dogs of the wealthier people in that country. They came to America with their Cuban owners who were fleeing Castro and the communist regime. When Castro came to power in 1959, Cubans started leaving the country and came to America, and they brought their dogs with them. Americans fell in love with Havana Silk Dogs, and in 1979, the Havanese Club of America was formed. The American Kennel Club formally recognized the breed in 1999, making it the 142nd breed registered with them. Number 6. They Require Regular Grooming the coat of an adult Havanese can be either long and silky or it can be kept short. If it's long, it needs to be brushed out consistently to prevent it from matting or knotting. A puppy's coat will be very fluffy before it grows if an owner decides to let it grow. No matter what style an owner chooses for his dog, regular grooming and trimming will be required. The breed doesn't shed much, which makes combing and grooming even more important. Unlike other breeds that have very specific color or marking requirements in order to be considered for a show dog, this breed's coat can be any color 
and it can have any type of marking on it. The coat can also be corded, but the whole body should be covered with cords if that's how you want the dog's coat to look. The Havanese coat is thick but silky, soft, and light, and it doesn't shed easily. The coat is long and ranges from straight to curly, although wavy is considered the ideal for the show ring. It comes in white, black, black and tan, sable, gray, and a myriad of other colors and markings. Many owners clip the Havanese coat short to make it easier to care for. But if you show your Havanese or just want to look like you do, you'll have to keep it long and should expect to do a lot of grooming. When kept long, the coat needs daily brushing to prevent mats from forming and frequent baths to keep it clean. In general, it's wise to keep the hair above the eyes tied up to prevent irritation. It looks cute too. Unless you're highly motivated and skilled, you're probably better off with a professional groomer. Owners can learn to groom their dog, but it takes a dedicated person to keep this breed's coat in good shape. Number 5. They are generally very healthy dogs with few genetic issues. The Orthopedic Foundation for Animals OFA, collects health information from all registered breeders and publishes it for anyone interested in knowing both the history of the breeder and the history of the puppy that they're adopting. The Havanese Club of America HCA, recommends that all breeders be registered with the OFA and that any potential puppy purchasers check out that database before buying a dog. The HCA recommends four different tests for breeders to put their puppies through eye exam, hearing test, x-ray, and kneecap test. Completing these tests gets a Chick Canine Health Information Center number for the dog. The HCA is so committed to promoting health in the breed that they won't list breeders on their website unless the dogs being bred have check numbers. Number 4. Havanese have a prize-winning temperament. This is a breed that is outgoing and eager to please. They're fun and spunky dogs. They are so social in fact that any shyness demonstrated while they're being shown and judged at a dog show is considered a fault. They want to know everything that's going on around them, and their environment matters less than the people in the home. In other words, they do just as well in apartments as they do in a large house as long as they have their people nearby, and maybe a window that they can see out of to check out the neighbors. Number 3. They are a tough member of the toy group. The toy group of dogs as designated by the AKC is comprised of animals that are much smaller in size. They're usually considered to be a little bit more delicate than larger breeds and extra care should be taken when playing with them. That's not the case with the Havanese. They are more rough and tumble by nature and love playing hard with their humans. Their temperament makes them want to join in the fun no matter what's going on. They're even good swimmers if they've been raised around water. Number 2. This easygoing breed is great with kids and other pets. One of the key characteristics of the Havanese that we've already highlighted is their loyalty. They love nothing more than hanging out with their people, and that includes children. They welcome attention from kids, unlike other smaller breed dogs, and typically get along very well with other animals in the home. Early socialization is critical, as it is with most breeds, but the Havanese generally get along well with people and pets. Number 1. This breed does not need a lot of exercise making it an excellent dog for older owners. The Havanese is quite content with a short daily walk and a few other outings throughout the day to relieve himself outside. However, one of the breed's favorite things to do is play with their owners, and it loves a good romp around the backyard. While you have to be careful not to let them over-exercise, letting them have a good romp in the backyard will release a lot of energy that might otherwise get misdirected into naughty misdeeds in the house. Do let us know in the comments if you want to buy this awesome breed. Please subscribe to The Amazing Dogs. Thanks for watching.